Next week, the debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump is set to be held at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Commonwealth again will play a pivotal role in the upcoming presidential election in November as the state is politically divided and has a sizable number of electoral votes up for grab. Desiree Whitfield, a political consultant for the Democratic Party, believes that the Philadelphia metropolitan area and its surrounding counties will play crucial roles in determining the outcome of Pennsylvania's election. But for two Philadelphia residents, indifference is the sentiment they have toward the White House race. Louis Bartholetti said he is undecided and does not have confidence in either party's candidates. Barry Moore said he will show up to vote for local offices but will not vote for the president. Because I don't believe that my one little vote counts too much, said Moore. Biden won Pennsylvania in 2020 not just by winning big in Philadelphia, but by running up bigger margins in the heavily populated suburbs around Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. He also got a boost in northeastern Pennsylvania in the counties around Scranton, where he grew up. So if you were to put up a map of Pennsylvania with all of the counties, you would see how many counties are red, meaning are Republican. And guess how many counties are blue? Well, there's more red counties than it is blue counties. But because Philadelphia carries the weight that Philadelphia carries, along with the surrounding counties, which is Delaware County, Montgomery County, Chester County, and Bucks County, then Philadelphia carries the state over. So that's why it's so important. That's why we say that, and it is a fact on, in black and white, that however way Philadelphia votes, that's the way a local, a state, and a federal election um, goes. I'm, I'm finding it hard really to pick to pick, a, to pick a candidate or several candidates for different offices that really will do anything for the people. It's always just blah, 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 <laughs> and nothing ever gets done, either party. So it's a real hard decision. You know, now I'm, I'm predominantly registered Democrat, but I don't think she has the backbone to, to run a government. You know, on that, that level. Um, then you have a lunatic on the other end. So where do you where do you go? I mean, I really don't have a feeling. It's more like routine, some pretty much indifferent. It doesn't even really matter too much to me because I don't believe that my one little vote counts too much. I believe they already have in place who they want to have in place. This is just a formality, just a dance for the public to say, hey, we, we matter, our voices matter. I just can't see how our voices matter at this point, but during the rest of the year, it's silence. No matter what we say, we protest, we, we holler, we write letters, we make phone calls, and none of that matters. I don't even see politicians until this time of year. After that, you can't catch them in the office, you can't catch them on the streets, you can't catch them anywhere, but on TV, making promises that they have no intentions to keep.